What's up YouTube, it's Cornish Ratbeard and Jamie Plays here bringing you hopefully another informative video for Star Trek New Horizons. Hello everyone, today we're bringing you the top 5 tips for beginners in Star Trek New Horizons. Now, before we start, let me tell you that this video is brought to you by me and Jamie Plays Tips, Tricks and Tutorials series which is located in the playlist linked in the description below. So this video has been made to give you guys a great start to the game. If you are new and a little overwhelmed with the complexity of the game, then sit back, relax and enjoy Cornish Ratbeards and Jamie Plays top 5 tips for beginners. So with all that said, let's get started. Our first tip is to use the marketplace whenever possible. Have too much of something? Sell it to gain energy. Have too much energy? Invest it in something. You can either use it or sell it later. Are you missing something or are you losing something every month? Either sell excess and buy things manually, or you can do it automatically to make sure that none of your numbers are in the red. Simply go to the marketplace and click the corresponding buttons to either buy, sell, or set up an automatic trade. You can find more specific information in the tutorial video about how to use the marketplace. Exploration is an especially important part of the game, especially in the beginning. Don't be shy to build extra science ships and send them out to explore. You will undoubtedly find some great systems that way, and there are a lot more positive anomalies than there are negative ones, so you will be farther ahead than if you just stay in your home system. You can gain extra resources, find resource-rich systems, and even get a leg up on your neighbours who you will also meet th through exploring. In the latter part of the game, when you have explored the galaxy, you can bring those science ships back and have them assist your planets with research. Simply go to your starting starbase and build your science ships there. Nice one, Jamie. Some great tips there. So on to tip number three, and that is to expand early and aggressively, guys. Don't sit back and let your opponents swoop in and steal all the good systems. You're going to want to expand your borders as quickly as possible, so you may exploit all the awesome resources. If you're lucky, you may end up with a few more planets that you can colonize further down the line. If you haven't already got the technology for your colony ships, then keep an eye out early game for the research needed to be able to build them. Main thing to prioritise here is the immediate ownership of as many systems as possible even if that means going over your administrative cap. We can always work on that later. Though I think the benefits of having the extra systems and resources do outweigh the negatives received from going over your administration cap. Right then, tip number 4. Now this is definitely one of my all time favourites building frontier hospitals on a newly colonized planet. When you first colonize a planet, you will notice that you cannot actually build a frontier hospital and the planet stays relatively stable. But once you have upgraded the planet for the first time, this option will become available. Now, you may have already noticed in your games that if you upgrade your planet and then maybe forget about it, the next thing you know, you have instability and riots kicking off in your newly established colonies. Well, we can't have that, can we? So all you're going to have to do is be sure that your first building you put down after the first upgrade is a frontier hospital. What this brings to the planet is both stability and pop growth which is an amazing trade off for the cost of one building. With the extra pop growth you will see your new colony really flare up into existence. Do it guys, remember that frontier hospital. Keep your fleets up to date. Staying current with the latest technology is essential. Build the newer ships and press the update button whenever you have the opportunity. For the technology level of your ships, generally, the higher, the better. Think about a Constitution class Starfleet vessel trying to take on a Klingon Nekvar vessel. Who is going to win? Hands down, the Nekvar every time. It's more powerful and it has more advanced technology. The same would be true for most newer ships in comparison to older ones. Refit your ships whenever possible and give them the latest technologies. If you have the auto update feature turned on for your ship designs, which is on by default, all you have to do is press the little upgrade button for your fleets and make sure that you have enough resources to make the upgrade. Okay guys, so that is it for our top 5 beginners tips, or is it? Absolutely not. Me and Jamie have come up with one more bonus tip that we think will really help you out. And that is to keep on top of your research. Now this one is most definitely a great bonus tip. No matter what difficulty you play the game, if you find yourself struggling to keep up with the AI, then it's probably because you're not keeping up with the research. 
Now, the harder the difficulty, the more bonuses the greedy AI gets, meaning they'll start way ahead of your shockingly low research. To combat this, we really suggest that you put all your effort into turning that around. Some tips that we can give you here would be put your first tradition point into a tree with added research bonuses. For example, completing all of the discovery tree will net you a juicy 5% extra to your research speed. Some edicts offer research bonuses and be sure to check over your research leaders and make sure the best candidate is in place. We recommend looking out for any leader that offers a 5-10% to research speed to be in charge. Now academies and even some technologies will help with the speed in which you can research. This will ensure you catch up fairly to the AI. If you get the hang of putting these tips into practice, you should be well on your way to mastering Star Trek New Horizons. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Good luck! Well guys, thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to both of our channels. If you find you're struggling at all with Star Trek New Horizons, then please do check out our tips, tricks and tutorials playlist linked in the description below and at the end of this video. We also have a Discord server we call The Collective. We discuss everything from these videos, to Star Trek in general, to what we're having for Sunday lunch. We also make our announcements there as well, and organise multiplayer games that you can play with us. You can join our collective using the link in the description below. The collective must grow. Alright, that's it from us for now. See you next time. Make it so.